This pandemic has changed our lives in so many ways. One change you might not even think about unless you're living it is how it's impacting couples expecting babies. A one person who is living it? Our Gotti Schwartz, he and his wife, Kimmy, who's a reporter at our Los Angeles affiliate there, KNBC, they're expecting, and we could not be happier for them. Gotti, good morning. Congratulations again, buddy. Hey, guys, good morning. We are so absolutely thrilled. I got to tell you, I've never been more nervous about something in my life. Obviously, Kimmy, my wife, she's doing all the heavy lifting, but trying to learn everything about being a first-time parent during a pandemic has been a journey. So we've been keeping this video diary to show our daughter one day, and we've also assembled a a team of pandemic dads-to-be to get all the advice we can as we navigate these uncharted waters. Take a look. Today is, today is the day that we found out that you're coming. We're gonna love you so, so, so much. Nine months, here we go. Just like that, our universe changed in the middle of a lockdown that made the rest of the world feel so far away. <laughs> First it was the ultrasounds, where COVID protocols meant no husbands allowed. So he can't come in, so him. What are you going to do? Sit here and stress. <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> Love you. Wish you could come. And now we wait and cross our fingers and hope for some updates. Whoa. Can you answer the phone? Yeah. Wish you were here. <laughs> Me too. And even things like parenting classes, well, they're also virtual. But for new dads-to-be, admitting how much we don't know and reaching out for help doesn't really come naturally. Due July 13th, having a baby boy. We are due June 23rd and having a baby girl. Nice. We got summer babies coming. So to help out, we gathered a few expecting papas for a little socially distanced support group at the city of Santa Monica's Annenberg Community Beach House. Nobody feels totally prepared to be a dad, you know, but you've got it. Like, it's baked into your DNA to be a dad. Not being able to go to the doctor's office, I mean, that, for me, that's one of the hardest parts. She goes in, can't be there. I know she's scared, right? I'm, I'm worried, but trying not to be worried. Being there and being supportive is huge. Even if the pregnancy is healthy and everything is going fine, there's a lot going on. And being there to hold their hand, to talk them through it, is an important role that we have as fathers, and we're missing that opportunity right now. I mean, FaceTime is FaceTime. It's not, it's not like the real thing, you know? Okay, we're getting ready for the exam, and Gotti is on my FaceTime over Hello. here. And then all of a sudden, like the image flashes on, and that was like the moment that everything just changed. And I, I would have done anything to have been like inside that room with her and, and, and holding her hand, because it, it's a miracle what you see on that screen, you know? What do you think that that you guys could do better during this pandemic? More laundry. <laughs> <laughs> All kidding aside, I would probably say being more loving, caring, and just kind of softer around how she is feeling and what she's going through. During these uncertain times, like there's a lot of sometimes irrational thoughts, emotions that come about, but it's important to recognize that those are valid that, you know, shouldn't be judging those feelings or necessarily pushing them aside. When your kids are having kids, what are you gonna tell them about love in the time of the pandemic? I think that while there is so much negativity surrounding this moment, I think that it is a transformative time for the world. And they're at the very beginning of it. We'll look back and say, okay, this is literally the day the world stopped. Everything did stop, but we kept living, all right? and it brought us all together, closer together, and that's why you're here. I really do like the idea that when the world stopped, we kept going, kept going. you know? Yeah. We kept going. And in all of this darkness and all of this, this gloom and difficulty, like, there was this beautiful little light that happened to our life. One silver lining in all of this for the dads to be is uh, that we've gotten a lot more t- quality time with our wives during lockdown. Yeah. Even that means we got it too. <laughs> he gets to be home to 
feel the kicks and all the good things that are <laughs> happening, even if it's not in the doctor's office. We still get to be together so much of the time. So yeah. it's been good. Now, now, Craig, Al, I, I got to ask, not only are you both uh, amazing parents, but you're both married to way smarter women who also <laughs> work in this crazy world of TV. So uh, what's your advice for us? Uh, I will tell you both. Hey. that uh, it's the greatest thing that oh. will ever happen to you and that you will know that your heart beats outside your body to somebody else's. And no matter what happens, <laughs> these are always your children. It doesn't matter what you do, uh -huh. whether it's your, whatever your job is, your job is just making sure that each of these children, whoever they are, can be whoever they want to be. I would, I would just say ditto uh, to that. Uh, Mr. Schwartz. Kimmy, so good to see you. We're so happy. So happy for the two of you. Hey, b hey by the way, Kimmy, I, there, there should be a, uh, a special delivery there for, for, for the both of you and, and baby Hold girl on. Schwartz. She's been very I've good. been waiting Hold to on, open. Let's see. <laughs> oh. oh, this has been hiding behind our couch this whole time. Feel free to open that. Is treating us very well. <laughs> yes. Thank you, guys. Yeah, this is got, awesome. We've got the full Today Show oh, library. There you go. Oh, there you perfect. go. Perfect. We're going to have so much reading material to go through. In oh, that basket. In that basket, you, that basket you. you will find all 14 books that Al Roker has written. They're all in that basket for baby girl shorts. Uh, oh, I can't They're wait. all in here. Oh, my gosh. She's going to love it. Thank you guys so, so much. God Thank bless you. you both. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.